Hey guys and welcome to a new video here on Flowshop. My name is Joseph. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I color grade my images using gradient maps. I use a variety of tools inside of Photoshop. As you know, there are so many ways of doing the same thing inside of Photoshop. But depending on my mood, I either use um, color balance, I use curves, luminosity masks. Um, but today we're going to be dealing with gradient maps and I want to show you how I color grade using gradient maps. All right, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do so as I have a lot more content coming. I know if you look at my previous post that was like three weeks ago, it means I haven't been uploading much. It's because I'm working on a pro tutorial and that one is going to be on sale very soon just so I can support my channel. So if you know you're going to be interested in that, stay tuned by clicking subscribe and turning on post notifications so you know of any future posts I make. Also follow me on Instagram at Flowshop and the same thing on Facebook even though I'm more active on Instagram so yes. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go over to my gradient map icon and click on gradient map. What it's going to do next is just apply um, a gradient that was already preset to the image right and um, mostly what people use gradient map for is split toning so split toning as in you're toning um, the highlights of the image and then you're toning the shadow parts of the image and everything in between with just the two hues that you select so clicking on the color space here is going to open the gradient editor and in there I have a lot of palettes that I can choose from and look for whatever works um, in the current image I am I'm looking at and if I'm okay with that I'm just gonna press ok and it has applied that gradient map also what you can do is change the opacity um, by varying it and it's also gonna you know affect the way the, the entire image looks um, based on the opacity that you're choosing also using different blend modes so let me just go back to 100% also choosing different blend modes with the same gradient map will also affect the image in different ways for example initially i went to darken and this is how darken influenced the image with that same gradient map set 100 percent and this is how color dodge for example would affect um, the same image using the same gradient map and this is also how soft light will affect the image using the same gradient map so if i want to split tone and let's say um, i want to use maybe orange um, in the highlights and purple in the shadows as you can see here by pressing ok um, this is just about what I'll get maybe I'm not okay with the fact that it's very orange I can I can just double click um, to open the color picker tool or if I just click on the color here it's gonna open the color picker tool so whichever works for you is fine maybe you just want to tone down the orange to about this point and press ok and press ok and this is your split tone image you know you can also adjust the opacity as i mentioned earlier and a before and after i will show you a split tone image yes but i want to take this a step further you know um but i'm gonna cheat a bit because i've already graded the image and so i know what i'm looking for i know the colors i'm gonna choose and everything but i'm gonna run you through so you know and you can follow along um, with me just that the exact colors I'm gonna choose is something I've already done so I already know what I'm looking for all right so I'm just gonna delete this gradient map and we're gonna start all over again so I'm gonna click on the gradient map it's set to the green to white again and I'm just looking for any of the map selections that have quite a number here that's because I'm gonna use about five different colors in this image but you're also free to experiment with as many colors as you want because even in the templates there are some with so many ridiculous colors and and things of that nature but yeah i'm just looking for one with five and that's what i'm going to be using so one two three four five this is um quite the number um of color stops that i need in the gradient map these are color stops these little buckets here they're color stops and they're not necessarily positioned at the right place for me i'm just going to change everything to what i want so i'm just going to press ok the next thing i'm going to do is change my blend mode from normal to soft light because i want the blend mode to interact with the image and soft light happens to give me the best interaction in this case now i want to be able to see what i'm doing right so i'm going to click this again and i'm going to start with the shadows so inside the shadows i'm just going to click on that and i'm going to change the color as i mentioned i already know what i'm looking for so i'm just going to type it in and press ok and press the next color stop I'm going to change that also to the color that I've already determined and press OK. I'm going to go 
into the next one. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to go into the next one. And press OK. And I'm going to go into the brightest part. And for that, I'm going to keep it at white and press OK. Now looking at the image, it looks very bizarre, like, but I'm now going to tweak this to my advantage. All right. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to reduce the opacity to about 50%. That's because I don't want the effect to be as strong. All right. I'm going to open my gradient editor again, and I'm going to adjust the positioning of this. So first of all, I want the skin tones to be a little bit more into the highlights of the image like i don't want it to be as overexposed as before so by dragging it to the right i am limiting the um the brightest parts of the image and adding a little of color into it but if i also go all the way to the left it means i'm you know making um majority of the area that the color occupies a little bit brighter and that's not what i'm looking for so i'm just going to drag it all the way to the right to about this point and it looks just right for me. I'm going to move this also just a little bit more to the right. And by doing so, it's also toning down the image. If I move it all the way to the right, you notice it's really toned it down a bit. If I go all the way to the left, it's opened up and it's a little bit saturated. And you can see that it's not really blending. Um, let me just OK it and zoom in. You'd notice that it's not really blending. You're able to see the split tones and that's not what we want. So as much as possible, we need a lot of separation or distance between the color stops just so it would blend. You can see if you look at it here, it looks very harsh. So I'm going to move it right about here so that all the colors just grade or fade into each other nicely. Now by moving this all the way to the left, I'm going to darken the exposure of the image and even the, I'm going to darken the shadows a little bit much. And influence it with the color blue doesn't what i'm looking for i just want to balance it out a bit so by dragging it out to the right you notice it's opening up the shadows and we can see some information right above her head and that looks pretty pretty nice i'm just going to move it a little bit more to the right like so and maybe i'll just move it a little bit like that yes just so we have enough of a grade all right so i'm going to press ok and we have we have gradients mapped our uh, image, but this is a little bit too strong like this is before and after. It looks nice, but to me, it feels just too strong, especially with the tones in her skin. So what I'm going to do is even lower it from 50 to about 40%. And let's just see how it looks before and after. That's pretty, pretty nice. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on my black and white. And what that's going to do is initially just set the entire image to black and white. But when I reduce the opacity of the black and white adjustment to, let's say, about 10%, it just softens the saturation of her skin and even the blues in the image. It just everything just settles, in my opinion, and that's something I'm looking for. Maybe 10% is a bit too low. I'm just going to go to about 18%, just a little before and after. All right. I still feel 18% is too strong. 10 was a little bit too low, so maybe I'll just go to... 14% before and after and I kind of like where this image is okay so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna run my action my melanin action in case you don't know how I created that action or what I use it for I'm gonna put a link and I'm just gonna card the um, video up here so you can click on it and watch it just so you you can access that melanin action because it's free and you can download it and use it for your images and tag me as well so what I'm gonna do is just go to my actions and press play and that's gonna run my learning action and what that does is it just cools down the image a little bit for me and gets it gets her skin tone just to the area or the points that I want but one thing I'm noticing also is that it's affecting the shadows just a little bit too much aside that I like everything that is doing to it is it's just made the image pop in my opinion but it's gonna go down on the opacity to about 38% do a little bit before and after before and after now you notice that the shadow that we opened here has gone a little bit dark so i'm just going to go back into my gradient map and let me see if this is going to work so i'm going to drag the whites a little bit more to the right and you notice it's opening up the shadows i'm going to drag the blues also just a little bit more like so and maybe just drag the whites a little bit further back and yes it's opening up the shadows so i really really like where this image is right now so yes this is how i use gradient maps when i'm grading my images i'm just going to quickly group my color grade so we'll group this in and rename it to color grade all right and here's a quick before 
and after before and after and with simple clicks and choosing um, different color stops i've been able to move the image from this which was okay in this natural state to this color and i really really like it so yes do let me know what kind of images that you create using gradient maps you can tag me on instagram or just leave a comment here if you use gradient maps to grade your images and if probably your process is, is a little bit different from mine as this community is open to suggestions and to more um, opinions from you guys it wouldn't exist without you guys so yes so if you're new here and you enjoyed this video give it a like as it, it tells me that you really like my content and subscribe if you haven't also turn on post notifications if you haven't and i will see you in the next video